Alright guys, being on board of my frickin' mind, I'm doing something I absolutely hate, and that is cutting up wood and uh, splitting it. Got the old still here. Gotta place a chain on it. It's a 034 uh, AV model. Took off the blade that was on here when I brought the other ones in to uh, get sharpened. So there's no chain on this one. Um, it's a pretty simple deal. Uh, pretty simple deal. Uh, one thing I do with my blades, the bar on this, there's no time to change a ch uh, replace a chain, I flip it back and forth. Kind of makes the bar wear even. <clears throat> Brand spanking new. Woo, shiny. Expensive. 30 bucks for one. Anyways. Feed the chain on there. Make sure it's going the right direction. Just gonna turn that way. So you want obviously you want the teeth, you know. Anyway, it's pretty simple. Just take it and put it on your clutch there. And I say pretty simple, and then I fight with it. Awesome. Go team me. Of course, the pegs are just wrong. Fancy extruder over here and crank the peg back. Chain in the groove. screw the right way to adjust the bar. That usually helps. You go the right way, you try to take slack out of it so you add more slack to it. This fucking bar is shot. Awesome. Put your nuts back on there. Loosely. Of course, this fucker's leaking gas in my workbench. Oh, well, I guess, right? Big fucking deal. Anyways, god damn, this is shot. You know what? I'm flipping the bar back the other way because one side of the bar is worn out more than the other side is, and this chain is sitting straight. Operator errors. All right, let's try this again. What do you mean by the bars worn funny? See this side, you barely have any. I mean, you got a little bit of play, but not bad. <laughs> this side's really bad and when you put pressure on the chain itself it wants to rock out this side because this side is worn more than this side of the bar is beautiful so I'm going to leave it the way I had it before my brother and my dad sees this when it stops cutting don't put more pressure on the bar. Change the blade.
my experience is if you get a bar that wears funny on one side, even though you're holding the bar straight, it's going to want to hook off to the either side of the bar that's worn the most, so you can't get straight cuts, which I've noticed when I was cutting wood with this thing earlier. Every cut I had, you know, I mean, the bar looked like a straight, but actually the, that chain was doing that number, and every piece of wood I cut was like this, you know, so being straight up and down, it was like that. Improper adjustment of the chain, and a really dull chain. Back and forth a couple times, get the kinks out of it, if there is any. Um, being this is brand new, you usually tighten it a little bit tighter than it normally would. Because my experience with new jeans, they uh, first time you run them, they really stretch real easy, or they stretch. No matter what, anything you put a chain on there, it's gonna wear, it's gonna stretch. You're gonna get slack in it, but the new ones seem to be worse than the ones I've been previously ran. So yeah, I'm running it a little bit tight. Saw you're gonna like it at first, but eventually it'll wear down a little bit and you'll get more slack in it. And take the nuts down. back on when I start doing the rest of the shit to it. Alright, here's the air filter for it. Pretty filthy. Uh, these still filters. See there's a little notch right there. You can split it in two and take an air compressor and blow it from the other side. You know, blow it from inside, you're out. Don't use a lot of air pressure there, do it gently. I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, took the air compressor to it, blew all the shit off of it. Um, next time it's just going to need to re be replaced. But for the time being, it'll serve its purpose. All right, I'm going to install this, and then I uh, guess it's time to gas it up and oil it up, and woohoo, the fun begins. Oh, boy. <laughs> 